right, so now we're ready to begin making our note. And so you should have a square piece of black paper and a background sheet of paper. And what we're gonna do is we are going to draw and cut out shapes on all four sides of the square. And this lesson really focuses on um, positive space, negative space, and balance. Um, and from the video, we learned that with the Notons, what we're doing is, is we're taking shapes within this square, flipping them out, and creating a balanced work of art. So my one advice for you is that if you are not great at cutting, which is totally fine, just make sure that you're drawing shapes to be cut out that are going to be easy for you to keep a nice clean line. Um, some of us are, have really great cutting skills and we can really do some like more difficult, smaller shapes, but you definitely wanna make sure that you're cutting these shapes out well. Um, you're also paying attention to how you're taking up the space. So I don't want like a large blank space in here. So I'm really thinking about how I can fill the space up by cutting out these different shapes. And you can do smaller shapes. You can do longer, thinner shapes but you do wanna make sure that most of those shapes fill up that, the inside piece of the, of the square. So the next part of the video is going to be done in a time lapse where I'm going to be cutting out the shapes and flipping them out onto my paper. And again, you wanna make sure that any piece that you cut out will be able to flip back in and fit into the square. You should not have any leftover scraps from this, from this project. Everything should be able to fit back inside that square. All right, so now I have cut out all of my pieces that go inside the square. And what I usually do is I just kind of set them off to the side and I am going to be gluing down the centerpiece first. And I really do want to make sure that I have enough room. So like when I'm flipping this piece out, that I have enough room on my background paper to make sure that it's going to fit on here because that's sometimes a mistake kids will make where when they flip their pieces out, they're kind of hanging off the, the background, which, you know, that happens sometimes and that's okay. All right, so I've got a really good glue stick. I'm going to be generous with how I glue this on because I really want it to be nice and flat and glued well to the background paper. Okay, so I'm just kind of going around all the edges getting it all around. You rotate this to make sure I have it on the right side. And I'm gonna lay it as flat as I possibly can. You don't wanna have your pieces kind of hanging all around crooked on the background paper. Try to keep it lined up to the edges. So here is my first piece. So see how it can fit in? When I fit it in, I'm gonna glue this side, flip it out and glue it down. So I'm gonna do that for every single piece. And again, you are going to see this done in a time lapse because it is time consuming. Um, it just takes a lot of patience. I'm making sure again, these lines are lined up well. And that I know when I flip it in that it's going to fit within that square. Let me get rid of that little that little fuzz. Here you go, here's another one. This is a pretty simple one, it's like a half circle. Get my glue on there. I know that I'm gluing it on the side that fits into the square, and then when I flip it, I'm making sure that it is lined up well right here along the edge. So it should look like a flat line. So again, I'm gonna do this with every, every shape going around the sides of the square. And now I'm gonna switch it to a time-lapse. <laughs> 